All right, guys, so here we are. We're about to replace our jacks, and i um, just gonna show you a little bit about what we're gonna do. Uh, we're upgrading from these 2,500 pound jacks here. You can see, uh, I don't know how much you can tell, but they're, they're not exactly impressive. But we're upgrading to the 7,500 pound easy lift jacks. And I can tell you just from looking at them, how much more substantial they are. So um, basically all we need to do is um, come in here. Oh, sorry about that. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna replace these two bolts or take these two bolts out here and uh, it should bolt right on. So let's see what we get. All right guys, we're just kind of doing a side-by-side -side comparison before I make the next install, just noticing a few things. Uh, the first thing you notice is uh, these 2,500 pound jacks, they don't even want you to use a drill to raise. They just want you to use the hand, hand crank version. Uh, basically, it says avoid your warranty if you use a drill. So that's kind of a pain. I mean, I kind of get it, but it's kind of a pain, but it doesn't speak much to the quality. Uh, the second is the bolts. You'll see the bolts and the nuts here not quite the same grade as we have here on the easy lift you can see those those are much higher grade it's grade eight i can't remember but uh, the steel itself you can kind of get an idea uh, how thin the steel is here versus the uh, easy lift here just a much heavier gauge steel um, the screw itself as far as the crank up the screw itself you can see that's a much smaller diameter than the easy lift much better jack here and, uh, and then the footprint you can see the footprint here on this particular 2500 pound jack as you can see there is uh, much smaller than the footprint we have here so if you turn them over it's kind of side by there's a good shot there you can see how much bigger the footprint is so overall just a much better jack uh, I think it was 100 bucks for four of them so you know nothing crazy but I'm hoping this will eliminate a little bit of wiggle. And uh, it's just nice to have a little upgrade like this. So anyway, getting it done right now. One installed. And... All right, guys, just got this one installed. And uh, I'll just show you a little difference here. So things not budging. So let's go up and let's look at what we have here when, I, when I'm about to move. I mean, really? It's really not even close. I mean, look at that. It's just crazy, and it's all in the jack. I mean, if you look up, you see the bracket. The bracket's not moving, it's the jack. So, yeah, this definitely needed to be done. All right, guys, you tell me. So this is the same exact mount that's already hooked to the trailer, but the other jack. That's not going anywhere, so obviously an upgrade. Uh, this whole project probably takes uh, I'm, I'm somewhat mechanically inclined. I'm not, my, I'm not a mechanic or anything like that But uh, this whole project takes I would say anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes uh, I've been going at it probably about 30 and I've got one more jack to go There's a little bit of finagling involved. So it doesn't just slip right in come uh, with no problems at all you have to kind of wedge the jacks in there a little bit make sure they're lined up appropriately um it's a it's not easy to get the bolt started in the new jack but it's not it's terribly hard either just make sure you have some good support from underneath um this is certainly a project that an, a novice could could handle easily so uh don't be scared of it uh, again these are easy lift jacks and great up guys got great upgrade guys uh make sure to subscribe and we've got some good camping trips coming up and some really exciting announcements uh, with one of our good friends. So uh, make sure to subscribe. See ya. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, we've got some really exciting news coming up on September 1st. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to, so you don't miss it.